All right. Good evening, everybody, or good morning, wherever your meeting time is. Uh, this is part 13 of our series, After God's Heart. And we're looking at the life of David. And uh, this week, we are focused on a chapter that is, uh, in a lot of ways, um, uh, very discouraging. Uh, David's troubles, David's mistakes have culminated in his own son, uh, the heir apparent to the throne, um, revolting directly against him and seeking to overthrow him um, in a rebellion. And uh, it's a very terrible time for the kingdom. Um, there are a lot of things to look at in this chapter that we'll cover on Sunday, but for our discussion time today, uh, I want to look at uh, specifically the reaction of David uh, when his son comes to him, uh, comes uh, after him in revolt. Uh, the series is After God's Heart, uh, remember? And so we're looking at what was in David's heart. How do we understand uh, this title given to him uh, when God calls him a man after his heart? So, David hears the news in 2 Samuel 16 that Absalom is marching towards him uh, and that uh, the hearts of Israel are for Absalom it seems like he has uh, the popular support to be king. Uh, at least that's how the reports go. And that's what Absalom thinks. And so he's marching uh, toward Jerusalem to overthrow David. So David gets up, gathers his servants, and they flee. Because he says, if Absalom gets here, he's going to kill us all. Uh, so we have to leave right now. So turn with me to 2 Samuel 15, verse 30. David continued up the Mount of Olives, weeping as he went. His head was covered and he was barefoot. All the people with him covered their heads too and were weeping as they went up. Now David had been told, Ahithophel is among the conspirators with Absalom. Ahithophel is an interesting character. He shows up only in these few chapters. Uh, he seems to have kind of a glorious uh, beginning and then has a very bad uh, ending. Um, but David, in response to this news, prayed, Lord, turn Ahithophel's counsel into foolishness. Ahithophel was a trusted counselor, uh, as we hear later, and David's first instinct when he heard that Ahithophel was with Absalom, knowing that Ahithophel was a wise man that would lead to David's destruction probably, um, he prayed, Lord, turn Ahithophel's counsel into foolishness. And this is the point that I, there are other points in this chapter that, that emphasize the same thing, but this point of David, that when he was hitting rock bottom, when he didn't know uh, what to do, uh, he didn't trust in himself, he trusted in the Lord. He turned to God and prayed, Lord, redeem me from this, help me in this time. And you know what? God heard David's prayer and God worked uh, exactly what David asked. David asked for Ahithophel's counsel to turn into foolishness, and God did that in a, uh, a providential way uh, with one of David's friends who brought different counsel uh, that Absalom followed, which allowed David to survive this conflict. And so our question today for our discussion is, is prayer the first thing you turn to? What does it take for you to turn to prayer? Is there something in your life right now that you need to be praying for that you haven't? Uh, if, if you can't think of something like that, uh, think of a time when turning to God in prayer made the difference for you. So turn to your uh, discussion uh, group um, with your partner and, and discuss. Uh, what do we need to be praying for now? Um, when has prayer made a difference in our life? All right? And we'll come again on Sunday. We'll, we'll look at the rest of the chapter. Uh, we'll talk through and see uh, what God did in response to David's prayer. All right? Have a good time.